Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the Fair Use Fair Dealings Guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning, everybody. As usual, there's so much stuff to cover. Oh, oh, oh my head. Um, all right. We have a few things for William and Catherine, and then we're going to get into our, our two wayward children, okay? So let's just jump in and get there, shall we? Let's go. So let's start off with Catherine, the Princess of Wales. We know that she was working on the Shaping Up a shaping us, excuse me, campaign. We know that she went around to all these different places. She met with all these different people. It has now been six months since she started this special campaign. And so they put out a video that shows her, you know, remember she went to like so many different places. She met so many uh, different people and children and, you know, gave speeches and is working really hard. So um, they released a fabulous video. I highly recommend you go online and take a look at it. Now, just as a refresher, this campaign puts a spotlight on the importance of early childhood and how it shapes the adults that you become. They're saying, you know, from pregnancy, I mean, let's face it, if you drink alcohol and use drugs during pregnancy, it affects the baby. Then how your brain develops, um, you know, up to age five, your, your brain develops at an exponential rate. And so I think this is important because it's spreading awareness and apparently there's a lot more to come. Yep. All right, moving on to William, we know that the royal family, you know, we hear all about their links to Scottish life, but William apparently doesn't like a kilt because they put one on him as a kid and uh, he just didn't like it. You know, we know his father wears one, we know that the queen wore one, but um, even though William holds a numerous titles, he doesn't want to wear a kilt. Okay, that's his, his decision. And it is being said that wearing a kilt is not compulsory. You don't have to wear one when you're doing royal duties. But the royal robe decided to take his artificial intelligence to a new level and put up these pictures of William in a kilt. Damn. I mean, oh my God. Catherine, jack your husband into a kilt. <laughs> My God. All right, moving on. All right, I want to move on to Omid Scobie now. Now, Richard Eden, who we know is a royal reporter, wrote to Omid directly asking what was going on. And then Omid tweeted a response, but Richard couldn't see it because Omid blocked him, which he blocks everybody. Anyway, as you can see, he wrote, he, ch he chose not to renew with Yahoo News to focus on new projects. It's kind of like what happened with Harry and Meghan and Spotify. We made a mutual decision. Bull crap. I mean, we all know that Omid works for Harry and Meghan. He, he had help from them doing Finding Freedom. Now he's coming out with this book, Egg Game, and he's claiming in the book it's going to reveal moments the royal family should be ashamed of. Where do you think that information came from? came from Harry and Meghan. They're simply using other people to attack the royal family. But he was out of the royal rota. He really was. And he went to work for Yahoo News, and apparently Yahoo News had enough of him. Now, the book has been delayed for several months because he added chapters about the king's coronation and how Harry got there. Obviously, information that was gotten straight from Harry. Anyway, people are talking about Omid and what happened. This is very interesting. Talk TV had something to say about this job. Listen to this. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the spokesperson for the uh, Duke and Duchess of Netflix, one Omid Scobie, um, seems to have been let Fan go as well from Yahoo News. Yeah, he, so he's got, I didn't even know he was working for Yahoo News. Yeah, he's got the Spotify treatment from Yahoo News right. where he was the Yahoo. royal executive editor. He says that he's decided to quit that of job has. of his own volition. Yeah, now, well done, but Omid. insiders say <laughs> it was a Spotify job. He got the boot. He got the heave-ho. Well, because he's got nothing to say now, because since they've got nothing to say, uh, he he, that he was there they, they were his only source weren't they so you can't do anything you know maybe yahoo got sick of the fact that he was obviously an an anti-monarchist i mean his last column his the headline was protests and apathy why king charles should be worried about the rise of indifference and republicanism <laughs> maybe 
And that was five months ago. You know, he he's so anti-monarchist, and I think Yahoo didn't like it, and so they got rid of him. You know, I told you guys before, I don't read anybody's stuff once they're proven to be a liar. So here Omid swore in court that Harry and Meghan had nothing to do with finding freedom, which turned out to be a lie. You know, then he gave a... a um, you know, a speech in 2020. He told the interviewer he was 33. Come to find out he turned 42 last month. I mean, this guy is a joke. You know, people are saying that no reputable royal source would ever talk to Omid Scobie. Now, the article says that um, Omid's book is nothing but a sensational attempt to cash in on the rift in the family between the Sussexes and King Charles, and that you can't really believe anything it said. And but but you know that the book was written with Harry and Meghan's approval and their help, just as the first book was written with their approval and their help. Yep. All right, before we move on to our next big story, I had to touch on this. They're saying that Harry is simmering and stewing with anger. Well, he is. And they're asking what happens. He's trying all these avenues to try to hold forces accountable, you know, for what happened to his mother. And what happens when all of that is exhausted? I mean, let's be honest, people. This man is a one-man crusade and his memory is skewed. Now, I feel really bad. It came out yesterday that David and Victoria Beckham are the ones who ended the friendship with Harry and Meghan, not the other way around. I bet he's stewing about that too. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. All right, moving on. Remember I told you yesterday that it looked like Harry might, while he still was the founder of Travelist, he was not on the board of directors. They put out statements about Travelist, but they never mentioned Harry's name. Well, the CEO of Travelist, her name is Sally Davey, she put a statement out to People Magazine that Prince Harry remains, quote, regularly involved in strategic discussions and decisions. Basically, he doesn't do anything. He zooms in every now and then. That's what it comes down to. There was a there is, I should say, according to her, a, quote, phase of growth for the company and they welcomed new board members without mentioning Harry. Now, you should know that Harry was never a board member, like ever. So Harry is still listed on the website as the founder and the patron, and they're saying that he's still an invaluable part of the organization. Personally, I think they left his name off because anything he touches, listen, why do I want to pay attention to this company? Why do I care about looking out for my footprint when Harry doesn't? Why would I care? Well, Talk TV, again, had something to say about this, and there was information that I did not know. So listen to this. Hello on the Royal Front. Got some Royal News. Yes, we have. Uh, you remember, of course, uh, Harry and Meghan got sensationally fired by Spotify. Yes. Well, I was watching a show last night and one on the news saying that he's been fired from yet another um, sort of... Uh, yeah, tra they're called Travelist. Yes. Uh, he hasn't been fired. He's still a founder member. Oh, yeah. Uh, but uh, it's 2019. He took part in the big launch for mm. this sustainable travel oh, company. Yeah. Uh, and he even filmed a comedy. What does that mean? They go everywhere on logs. Or well, yeah, it's you know the offset carbon, all that oh, yeah. rubbish that, that isn't Brilliant. really even yeah, not sustainable. It's at not all, really then. environmental at all. It's yeah. just a, a way it's to a assuage <laughs> middle class consciousness. Yes. What happened was that uh, Travelist have now got a big new initiative, mm. and although he's still a founder yeah. member. Uh, they haven't used him at all. Really? He's not even mentioned. And the reason is, is partly I think he's become toxic because of Spare yeah. and uh, Oprah Winfrey. Well, he does fly on a lot of planes everything. as well. But mainly, it's his use, it's mm. his obsessive use not only of... He, 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 in an interview with Travelers, he said, I, I use uh, commercial jets as, but so, as much as possible. Sometimes my family's safety yes. is paramount, so I do sometimes... I came here yeah. by commercial. I spend 99% yep. of my, my life travelling the world by commercial. Uh, occasionally, occasionally there needs to be an opportunity based on a unique circumstance um, to, to ensure that my family 
I'll say. The, 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 what I think may have been the straw that broke the ca camel's back mm. in terms of Harry's cod environmentalism oh, yeah. was when he flew <laughs> when he flew his uh, uh, croaker. Uh, what's it? What's the, uh, the croaker? Polo, kit, yeah. No, his polo. Polo, kit yeah. From because he he went to Colorado to play. Yeah, and he forgot it. He didn't forgot he? his to I mean, play polo. He forgot his polo. I mean, kit. I think this, really bright yeah, guy. This gives you an insight into <laughs> the mind of uh, Prince Harry. Yeah. Oh, what are you going to Colorado for? Oh, I'm going to play polo. Have you got your kit? Oh, I forgot it. No, I, I knew there was something. <laughs> I knew there was something. So he flies to Colorado from California, two hours in a private right. jet, forgets his polo kit, so he sends the private jet back to California uh, and the polo kit is flown mm. back to him. Amazing. I think that may have uh, uh, featured in travellers' yes. thinking somebody, about Somebody him. at the Sustainable Travel Basically, company. they wanted nothing to do said. with him. They wanted nothing to do with him because, like so many celebrities and royals, people like Leonardo, DiCaprio, he's a massive, great, green hypocrite. Yes, funny that. So there you go. They didn't use his name because he's a hypocrite and because he used a private jet to fly his polo gear to a charity polo game <clears throat> that he was going to be playing in. Why can't you just use somebody else's gear? All right, moving on. Now, we know that Megan and Serena Williams are supposedly these great pals. Even though Megan went to watch Serena play after Serena asked her not to come because every time she's been there, Serena's lost. No, I'm not kidding. Anyway, Serena had a baby shower gender reveal party last week, and it would appear from the pictures and the video that Megan was not there. Now, they said in the article, if you can believe this, it is possible that the Duchess requested not to be filmed in order to keep her attendance um, concealed. Who are you kidding? Now, I'm going to put a different spin on it, and you guys may not agree with me, but I have to tell you that if I was having an A-list baby shower and there were A-listers who were not comfortable around Megan because they know that anything they say could be repeated, I, even if Serena was my friend, I'd be like, I, 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 are you having this person at your baby shower? I'm not trying to be mean, but if she's going to be there, you have the right to invite whoever you want, but I have the right to not show up. So, I mean, I I would probably, if it was me, I would be no. That That's just me. Anyway, um, they did a whole video on it. There was a balloon-filled marquee. There was a water park there for children that were there. And they revealed it with drones, and it was revealed that she's having another girl. Apparently, she's very excited about that. She's only interested in having girls. Well, you know, good for her. She wants to recreate, you know, the things she has with her sister. So she and her husband are having another child. Good for them. I, I hope everything goes smoothly this time and she doesn't end up as sick as she did last time. All right, let's move on to our last bit for today. Now I'm going to finish up this video by showing you how Megan drops her face when she's not the center of attention. First, we have multiple years worth of Suits interviews. Then we have her with the royal family, you know, and you see what happens when she's not the center of attention. So watch this. <laughs>
So what do you guys think about the information that it was David Beckham and his wife who dumped Harry and Meghan? I, I can totally see that. Do you guys think that Meghan went to Serena's party and asked to be left out of the photos? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Make sure to leave those comments below, okay? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you've already hit the button, double check, make sure you're still subscribed. You can go into the description box and you'll find links to my Twitter, my Getter, my Rumble, my email, and a physical address. For those of you who've donated to my coffee funder through the thanks button, thank you so much. And as always, you guys, have a great day.